Entry delay timers trigger a warning to the user reminding them to disarm their alarm system when coming in through an entry zone. P26E sets entry delay one time between 1 and 99 seconds in one second increments. Simply enter P26E followed by the new time followed by E. Entry delay two time can be used for zones that require more time to get to the keypad. This timer is set in 10 second increments from 10 seconds to 990 seconds. For example, entering P27E60E will enter a time of 600 seconds. The exit delay time is the time given to secure and depart the premises after the panel has been armed. All zones, except for 24 hour zones, are inactive during the exit delay time. The time set for exit delay is in 1 second increments from 1 second to 99 seconds. If longer time is required, option P62E8E can be enabled to change this to 10 second increments. Entry beeps are enabled by default causing the keypad son alert to start beeping when an entry zone is triggered. The option P60E1E will toggle entry beeps on or off. Beeps during exit delay are not enabled by default but can be switched on by option P69E7E. This will cause the keypad to start beeping when the system is in full arm mode only. Home mode arming does not beep exit delay. Options P40E through to P43E set the delay type for the zones. By default, Zone 1 is an entry zone, Zone 2 is a handover zone, and all other zones are instant zones. To change a zone type, simply enter into the location and then activate the zone number followed by E. For example, to change Zone 3 to an entry delay 1 zone, enter P41E3E. When setting a zone for one of the groups, it is automatically removed from the previous group. Handover zones are zones that are delayed, but only if entry is made through an entry delay zone first. If a handover zone is triggered first, it behaves as an instant zone, setting the alarm off immediately. A typical handover zone might be a zone in a hallway that is looking at an entry door. The Nest Vibration Sensor is an inexpensive device that can be attached to any surface such as a window to detect vibrations from attempted break-ins. Zones can be programmed for vibration sensitivity using locations P31E through to P36E. By default, zones are set to normal operation which disables the vibration sensitivity. To install a vibration sensor, simply attach it to the zone and then set the vibration sensitivity required. It is recommended to program a low or medium sensitivity and then test the sensor. For example, to program Zone 8 as a vibration sensor with medium sensitivity, program the option P34E8E. Vibration sensitivity settings set the amount of time required for the zone to be open before raising an alarm. This is set in milliseconds. By default, the zone needs to be open for 200 milliseconds in normal operation. Day zones operate when the panel is fully disarmed. When they alarm, these zones will activate their assigned outputs. Any zones can be programmed additionally as day zones. This feature is typically used to trigger an alert when a door is opened. To program any zone as a day zone, simply enter P53E and then select the zone number followed by E. When the panel is in a disarmed state, these zones will trigger the assigned outputs. Temporary day zones offer the same feature as fixed day zones, but are enabled by the user. This can be handy when the user would like to select their own day zones, or would like to enable and disable the feature when they wish. To enable this feature, activate the option P64E2E, which will then change the operation of the outputs to only be momentary when a day zone is triggered. Fixed day zones can also be programmed in addition to the temporary day zone feature, but fixed day zones cannot be disabled by the user. With the temporary day zone option set, the end user simply presses P followed by E on the keypad to make their zone selection. On navigator keypads, simply select the zone and then close the menu. On LCD keypads, select the zone by pressing the zone number followed by E, then press P followed by E again to save. To toggle the day zone alarms on or off, 
simply press 0E. When the feature is enabled, day mode will be displayed on the keypad. On LCD keypads, the home button will be flashing. Zones are assigned to area one by default. In location P45E, all zone numbers will be lit to indicate this. Zones can be assigned to area two by entering in P46E and then entering the zone number followed by E. If a zone is to operate in area two only, it must also be removed from the area one zones. A zone set to both area one and area two will act as a common zone and will not arm until both areas are armed. This is useful in a situation such as an entry foyer that might be shared between two businesses. Home zones allow arming of selected zones while others are ignored. This is typically used for arming perimeter zones such as windows and doors when the user is at home. Any security zone can also be a home mode zone. Simply enter location P51E and then select the zone followed by E to have the zone armed in home mode. By default, zones behave as programmed in away mode, so entry delay zones will be entry delay, while instant zones will be instant. Activating the option P64E 3E will change all home zones to use entry delay two time. This is useful to allow zones to activate entry delay in home mode instead of activating immediate alarms, but will still trigger immediate alarms when in away mode. Zones set as 24-hour zone types will override all other zone type settings. 24-hour zones will trigger alarms regardless of the panel's arm state. Enter P52E followed by the zone number followed by E. Activating the option P68E 6E will change the siren tone for the external siren to a fire tone for 24-hour zones. This can be useful when attaching smoke alarms to the system. This option only applies when using a horn speaker style of siren. All zones are mapped to all siren outputs by default, but it is possible to individually change the outputs that are triggered from a zone. Simply enter option P54E through to P57E to toggle the siren outputs used for each zone. For instance, to make zone 16 a silent duress zone, Simply enter all options P54E through to P57E and enter 16E to turn the option off. Activating zones in options P58E and P59E will allow the zones to trigger auxiliary outputs. Simply set up the auxiliary outputs using options P121E through to P124E. Toggle the option 1E on to enable each of these outputs. This will cause a zone alarm to latch the outputs until the panel is reset by a code. Siren outputs can also be enabled and disabled for tamper and panic alarms. By default, all siren outputs activate for both tamper and panic alarms. To disable siren outputs for tamper alarms, enter option P61E, then toggle the options 1E through 4E. This will affect both the external siren tamper and the onboard box tamper. To toggle outputs for keypad panic alarms, enter option P61E, then toggle options 5E through 8E. Siren outputs can also be toggled on and off for both home mode and day mode zones. For home mode zones, by default, the internal screamer, internal keypad, and external strobe are all triggered. The external siren is not triggered by default. Home mode siren outputs can be toggled on and off by entering location P63E and then activating options 1E through 4E. Siren outputs for day mode can be toggled by entering option P63E, then toggling the options 5E through 8E. An external key switch device can be attached to zone 8 to arm and disarm the system via an external input. With reference to page 24, activate options P60E, 2E, 3E to set the operation of the key switch. Key switch devices must be a normally open device and will short the zone to change the state. A 2K2 resistor is also required to seal the zone. This is irrespective of the global end of line resistor value setting. Key switches can only arm area one but can be programmed to disarm both areas 1 and 2 with the option P120E 8E. A latching key switch can also be used, which will arm the system when closed and disarm the system when opened. 
Note that when this type of key switch is used, all other forms of arming and disarming are disabled, including keypad, radio key and card. By default, the system will automatically exclude any zones that are unsealed at the end of exit time. The panel will give a two second siren burst if any zones are excluded and send a report to the monitoring station if enabled. Setting the option P60E 6E off will prevent zones from being excluded and instead set off an immediate alarm at the end of exit time if zones are unsealed. It is then required for the user to either seal the zone or manually exclude the zone from the keypad. When retrofitting the system to existing sensors and cabling, it may be required to change the end-of-line resistor value. It is possible to change this in programming instead of swapping out all end-of-line resistor values. By default, the system is programmed to use 2K2 end-of-line resistors. Enter location P129E then activate an option 1E through to 13E to set the end of line resistor value. This applies to all security zones and external siren tampers. Unused zone inputs can be disabled by installing the end of line resistor at the panel, but they can also be disabled in programming. Enter location P125E, then toggle the option for the zone off that you do not want to use. This is required when using radio zones as radio zones and hardwired zones operate in parallel. Toggling a zone off in this location does not disable a radio zone.